Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the square sunlight fountain. Now this is a such a large uh, low bowl. It has a lot of area for reflective sun or, or light if you're going to put the light inside. So that's why we're calling it that. It actually has a nice reflection going on there from the sun. Uh, we have a, a larger pump in here than we normally use like on the jars. We wanted to be able to scoop this plume of power because it is such a large uh, area here for the, the water to to fall back into. So you're going to catch a lot of that splash. Sometimes with the smaller plumes you're splashing less and in a smaller tighter area you want to be able to catch uh, that, that splash so you don't want it splashing outside of your base. This being wide you're going to catch the majority of that splash as it comes back down. Lighting inside be beautiful. Light up that plume of water. This is a nice sleek modern look to this fountain. I think it's a, a really nice uh, area for a contemporary type setting, you know, beside a patio or deck. It's a, it's a low bowl, so I don't think you'd want to stick it out in the garden where plants would kind of go up around it and you wouldn't be able to see it. So I picture this more in an area, more of an intimate setting area, uh, where you can actually see down in it. The light at night, being low like this, you're going to get that reflective motion off of any trees or walls uh, that it can reflect off of or any bushes that you might have behind it. Uh, and also, you'll get that light being low like this. It'll actually spread out around to your patio. So I think that'd be a big plus on this fountain. Um, the water count comes around all the way around, so it is attractive all the way around. We've got it setting on this uh, kind of a gray-black, uh, kind of a neutral base. And uh, gray-black is kind of a neutral color. And this right here is uh, just a very large jar. It's going to be several in this series. There's actually three sizes, and we use this same bowl, I'll call it a bowl, uh, for other fountain designs as well. Got a really nice sound. I hope you could pick that up. Now, the water looks kind of green because we've still got the dyes. Uh, this is a brand new pot, so the dyes are still coming on that. After, you, uh, after it runs a little while, that'll go away. But that is why it has that green tint to it right now. Really nice sound. You can see the way the water comes over that edge. I think uplighting would be great too because you're going to catch some of that action going on underneath. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, kenny at southerngraceva.com.